time, weather, and... Hello and welcome to Driving with Todd. And I'm Todd. A while back, I did a comparison between T-Rex doing the song Telegram Sam and Bauhaus doing the song Telegram Sam. I'm a huge fan of Bauhaus. I'm a huge, huge fan of T-Rex. I really liked what, what I heard, and I thought, well, let's do the same thing, but this time, let's use David Bowie. David Bowie and the song Ziggy Stardust. Bauhaus did a cover of that song in 1982. I'm a huge, 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 huge fan of David Bowie. When the album Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders from Mars came out in 1972, I bought it immediately. I don't believe I owned any other David Bowie up to that point. I, I, I'm, I'm having a hard time remembering, but I don't think I did. But when I heard that album, I couldn't believe what I heard. It was the most fantastic album I had ever heard. And I played it over and over and over and over again. I had to go back and buy Bowie's back catalog, which I loved as well. I played all those albums, but the Ziggy Stardust album was so special. It was such a good album. Well, on the album, there's a song called Ziggy Stardust, and it tells a story of Ziggy. The song was never really released as a formal single, so it was on the album and on many of David Bowie's compilation albums. Well, in 1982, Bauhaus did a cover of the song. Now, Bauhaus was a huge fan of David Bowie, the whole group. They just idolized David Bowie. Well, the movie The Hunger was being filmed, and they wanted Bauhaus to do the song Bella Lugosi's Dead within the movie. And there's a scene where the group is playing the song in a coffee house, or a, I think it's a, 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 a nightclub, and David Bowie's there playing his part of the movie. Well, after the scene, David met with Bauhaus, and they were just absolutely thrilled. They, they couldn't believe they were meeting their biggest hero. Well, the story goes that they were in the studio, and David J., the bass player, and Haskins, the drummer, started to jam on the song Ziggy Stardust, and the and the the reels were turning. It was being recorded. After they, they jammed on it, they listened to it, and they really liked it. So they were doing a BBC session uh, soon after that and decided to include Ziggy Stardust in that BBC session. Well, the story goes that that turned out so well that they did a formal version in the studio, released it as a single, and it was their highest charting single on the UK singles chart. It got to number 15. So I thought it'd be fun to compare these two versions of the song and see where the same, where they're the same and where they're different. We're going to start out with the master, David Boy, doing his version of Ziggy Stardust. Ziggy played guitar Jamming good with Wed and Gilly And the spiders from Mars He played it left hand But made it too far Became the special man Then we were Ziggy's band Ziggy really sang Screwed up eyes and screwed down hairdo like some cat from Japan He could lick on by smiling He could leave them to hang They came on so loaded, man Well hung a snow white fan
words to this song are just so great i mean it's telling the story starts out with with the band being a band and then ziggy started to get so much fame that the band became almost like second nature to ziggy stardust and the band became very jealous of ziggy and what's cool about this is david uses different tones in his voice as he's singing different parts of the song and, and I just think that's so wild how he uses his voice to, to almost uh, reenact different people within the song. I think that is so cool. But the killer on this song, I mean, it's the killer, is the beginning. That guitar in the beginning is just hot. I mean, it just, that those chords are just perfect for this song. And then it comes in with the heavy drumming. And then Bowie's doing different, uh, different like sounds with his voice. And then it gets into the song. But that beginning of the song is just dynamite. I mean, it's just, like, perfect. This is just such a great rock and roll song. And it just fits into this album. This whole album is just one great song after another. Let's keep on going. God given ass He took it all too far But boy could he play guitar Making love with his ego Ziggy sucked up into his mind Like a lover messiah When the kids had killed a man fantastic fantastic song and I, I just love the way he uses words in this song you know the, the line like a leper messiah I mean, the, the the visions that you get in your head the more you listen to this song and the more you pick out the lyrics the visions you get in your head of what ziggy is doing and what the band is doing it's just it's just so well written but the music is so great too i mean those distorted guitars and i mean it, it's a, like a heavy song but it's still glitter i mean this is kind of like very heavy glitter rock this particular album and uh, it's he just put everything together so well and it just fits like i said within this album the album all has the same style of sound to it and each one the lyrics tell this story of ziggy stardust each each of the songs and how it all blends together is is fantastic but this song has always been one of my favorites i just love the way he sings it uh, the way he uses his voice to sound like different people within the band and ziggy himself the the guitars are so fantastic heavy bass the drumming is right there i mean this is one of those i think pre-perfect albums i always say that after like 1976, 77, all the bands that tried to record albums like the Eagles and so on and so forth, Fleetwood Mac's another one, uh, you know, Paul McCartney, they all tried to make these perfect albums where there was like no airs in the studio. Everything was just 
perfect. There wasn't a drop of a pin. You couldn't hear it. And that's kind of what David did with this album, with the Ziggy Stardust. It, to me, it was like one of the first most perfect albums. It just flowed so well. The, the mix of it was so perfect. The sound was right there in your face. And it was a fun album to listen to. So let's go and listen to how Bauhaus reinterpreted this song. Um, and, and, and as I said in, in my previous video about Bauhaus, they were kind of a goth band. Um, they were post-punk. They, they were goth. Um, you know, they had a little bit different sound. But it was interesting that as Bauhaus moved along in their career, they were very much uh, compared to David Bowie. So that's kind of a, a, a weird comparison. But if you listen to their songs, they are way out there. I mean, they've done some really cool stuff. So listen to Bauhaus. Bauhaus doing their cover of Ziggy Stardust. Okay, so this version is a little bit darker than uh, David Boy's. Like I said, David Boy's mix and recording of the song was really bright and right in your face. This one's darker, and it, it's it's a lot deeper. I mean, it's a lot um, more muffled, let's say. The bass and the drum are, are what's taking over the musical portion of this song, while the Bowie version, it was the drum and the guitar, uh, the electric guitars that were really taking over. So the bass... Uh, guitar in this song is is really up front along with that heavy drumming and then peter murphy's vocals i mean he's he's doing his best david boy his voice is different than boys but he's putting the the same accents on the verses of the song and i like the way he cracks his voice a little bit as well i'm i'm a, I'm a fan of peter murphy I, I really like his his singing and the guitar is there but it's not sticking out in your face like it is on the boy so it's it's definitely more goth uh, a little bit more punk uh, than the boy version, which is more of a pop, rock, hard, kind of almost a hardish type rock song. So let's keep on going with Bajos. <laughs> Was 
Okay. Uh, what's interesting is where David was doing all of those ad lib type parts of the vocals, Peter Murphy was doing the same thing. Uh, he followed the, the David Bowie version fairly close in uh, in the, the Bauhaus version of Ziggy Stardust. Again, the difference, I think, is that it it's not as bright as the the David Boy. It's it's mixed a little lower, and and the guitars just really aren't in your face. It's it's that bass guitar and that drum that's really driving this version of the song. And and I think because of the goth type uh, sound that they're trying to get, it, that's kind of why it's it's a little bit suppressed. While the David Boy was just real bright and and in your face, and you're like, wow. Wow, I mean, it, that was a wow moment. The Bauhaus isn't as much of a wow, wow moment, but it's a very cool version of the song. And like I said, it did very well on the UK singles chart. It got to number 15 in 1982, which was their best charting single. So this was a comparison between Bauhaus doing Ziggy Stardust, their version, and David Boy doing his original version of the song from the album Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders from Mars. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, hit that like button. That'd be really cool. If you have any comments about David Bowie or Bauhaus doing Ziggy Stardust, put in the comments below. That'd be really, really appreciated. And I'm going to take the link to both videos and put it in my notes below. Now, the uh, David Boy was a fan-made video, obviously, while the Bauhaus was the original uh, video made for the song. So I'll put both of them in, into my notes below. So if you want to watch them again, go into the notes, click on the link, give them a listen, give them a watch. That'd be cool. I'm also going to put a link to the channels that uploaded both videos. You might want to check out those channels as well. Have you subscribed to Driving With Todd? If you haven't, let's do it now. I'm hoping you still have my video open. If you do, go below the video, hit subscribe. It's that simple and you're done. And I'd appreciate it. That'd be so cool. If you go over here, ring the bell, you'll get updates to my latest videos. Yeah, after I did the T-Rex comparison with Bauhaus, then it came to mind, hey, Bauhaus did a cover of Ziggy Stardust as well. I got to do that one so we can compare the original with the Bauhaus version. And I thought it was kind of fun. It put a big smile on my face. I'm hoping to put a big smile on your face. And peace out, baby. <laughs>